Alright, so we're back for Hollow Knight. Last time we got a super, like, uh, spirit saber sword that we can charge up. And we fought a couple bosses, which was really cool. We also finally bought the lantern, and we're just a couple hundred away from being able to buy the simple key. I want that simple key. I want to see where that door leads. Hooray! I also really should save up and buy more of those pin slots, because I have a lot of pins, but I'm not really using them to their full potential. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but now, for some reason today, uh, your comments are now showing again on YouTube, which is good. I have no idea why YouTube stopped showing them to me for a while. Ow, my butt. It can be hard to... Ow, my bottom! It can be hard to wall jump up to these places. Especially if your feet don't quite reach. Oh, rats. That's not even the right way to go. Oh, well. Yeah, please move out of the way. Hollow Knight is coming through. Yeah, you... Yeah, there's probably a lot of comments awaiting. Or maybe... I actually... Oh, shoot. I'm, like, about to die already. Wait. I just saw a Geo... Well, first off. I just saw a Geo deposit up here that I never actually got. What the heck? Well, that'll help. Oh, man. I love the Geo Magnet. It's great. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can see the comments that you posted in the other videos yet. I'll have to go back and check. I saw all your new ones. I think I've already seen this. Yeah, they'll face the law of... I don't know how I missed that, Geo. I'm, maybe I'm legally blind. I don't know. Alright, well, it seems like I was just resting on the bench, but now I gotta do it again. Alright, so I am very close to the Fog Canyon. Is it really... I thought there was a, a path to the left. How dare you. Just stop trying to hit me with your projectile attacks. You think you're so fancy? You ain't. Good evening, D2DX Vision. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see ya. Whoa, ho, ho. Have I been over this way before? I can't remember if I've been over this way before. Let's see. I, it was, sure would be nice if I could see what's... Bo okay. That's a big bush. That's a big boy bush. Is this mini boss time? It might be mini boss time. Ah, okay. You're fancy. You got some tricks up your sleeve. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I saw that Gilbert Gottfried uh, passed away. That, that was sad. He was a cool dude. I'll always remember him as Digit from Cyber Chase, and of course Iago. Ah! All right. That is actually a tough boss. Okay. Very simple, but actually kind of tough. Wait, Cyber Chase is still making new episodes? Really? I thought that... I knew that that show went on for a long time, but I thought it, I thought it at least ended. Interesting. How is that how is that show still going on? There's only so much math in the world that you can teach to kids. I feel like lessons about morality are one thing, but like the the whole point of that educational show was to teach math to kids. And eventually like you're either going to have to repeat old math lessons again or you're, you're like, "Well, guys, we got to try teaching advanced calculus to uh 8-year-olds." Which it's not impossible, but your work is cut out for you. Ouch.
Though I will say, Cyber Chase had a great villain. The hacker was fantastic. All right. I got it. Ow. Why is this guy so difficult? I just don't know. Okay, from now on, if he jumps at me, I need to do a dash. Oh, there, there he goes. Yeah, that I have definitely not gone this way before. Oh, hey, little grubs. Oh, they ran away. <laughs> Teach calculus to kids. It's not impossible. Everyone makes a stink about how difficult calculus is. It's actually not that tough. Once you get the basics down, it makes all other math way easier. Which is awesome. Oh, that's right. Oh, hey, we can get uh, restore our will. Oh, we haven't. We now have enough geo to get the, the simple key. Oh, I, I wasn't hearing a grub. I was just hearing these little. The bush guys and the grubs sound so similar. They probably actually don't, and I'm just like, it's a little cry. It must be. Must be a grub. That, that's fair. Cyber Chase... I mean, Cyber Chase much like math. You like it or you don't. Part of it is because uh, because Cyber Chase teaches math. Uh, <laughs> that probably also plays a role in whether you like it or not. Hoo-hoo! I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm fabulously wealthy! So you can kill those fiends. Hey, Mobius, welcome. Uh, well, I guess we're kind of still having a conversation on math. It started with um, Gilbert Gottfried passed away, and he he voiced the digital bird Digit in Cyber Chase, which was a show that taught math to kids. That was a good show. Also, the best part of Cyber Chase was at the end of the episode, they would do the little, like, Cyber Chase for real, where it's, like, real adults that are basically having to use kids' math to solve problems, and they were amazing. I hope Harry and Bianca are doing well wherever they are. This is literally DuckTales now, with how we're pogoing off of stuff. Yes, a amen 2DX. I, my family also did not have... Uh, cable or satellite TV growing up. We had two or three channels with the old TV antenna that you had to, like, fiddle around with and dance on your head if you wanted to get good reception. Those were the good old days. And if you wanted to see episodes of your favorite show, you either had to wait for those episodes to be on, or you had to record them on a VHS with bad reception and watch them later. Hello, Mr. Grub. There you go. Yeah, I've seen a couple... I saw a couple of interviews with Gilbert Gottfried. Like, I think I saw him on the uh, Joe Rogan experience. He was he was a very interesting guy. Very soft-spoken. He seemed like a very cool guy. I was sad to hear he passed. Oh, that's right! I also need to buy the Mask Fragment. Because... Ooh, that's right. Maybe I can get enough Geo... Maybe I can get enough Geo that we can buy the Mask Fragment and the Simple Key. That would be cool. Because I believe if I buy the mask fragment from the store, I complete the mask. And I don't know what it does, but it probably does something really cool. Uh-oh. Whew, okay, that wasn't too bad. What's up, Nintendo Attic? Nice to see ya. All right, what does it say? Though once saw our lands, a pale bean lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but do not let. But it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. Maybe he just has a different worldview. Have you ever thought about that? Well, looks like we can't go up that way yet. Is there, like, a quick warp option to go back? That would be nice. I wish I could look... look oh my gosh! How long have you been able... 
Have you always been able to use the C stick? The C stick. The right analog stick to look down? You probably have, and I just never do it! Anyways, how, how, how's, how's everybody's night going? <laughs> If for those of you who aren't aren't super familiar with my streams, I make a lot of weird noises whenever stuff hap starts happening. Joink. Uh oh, that's always the risk with VHS tapes: <laughs> is accidentally recording over something important. That's why we always very clearly labeled our VHS tapes, like, "Hey, these are home movies." Don't record over these. Hey, this is... <laughs> this is all of Season 1 of Arfur on three different VHSs. Do not ever record over these. <laughs> oh, you tired, Mobius? Yeah, this has been a tiring week for me. This is the first week I've gone back, physically back, to my office in two years since the whole beer bug started. Which, like, it's been kind of good, because it's cool seeing all my coworkers again. My bottom! But also, being in the car, driving over there... It's tiring. Oh, that's not good. Le gasp. This is not where I wanted to go, but alright! Oh, wait, this is where... Wait. Oh, we're in the Stone Sanctuary, I guess. I was trying to heal, but okay. So this is where we were last time, when we got killed by that... Uh, Seening Lady! Uh, Seening Lady, want to heal me? Probably not. Okay. I gotta be careful. Oh, people absolutely recorded Disney movies on their VHSs. A hundred percent. Well, I'm, I'm blessed to work at a company that has really great people working there. So I actually really do like my coworkers. That's one thing where if I end up going to a new job, I will I will miss the people. Because I know it is not necessarily a common thing to work at a job where you've got a lot of great coworkers. Alright, there's a bench. At last, a chair! Oh yeah, Defendant in Case 4 is my favorite. Why does it always pop you up right next to a stink bug? Alright. We either need to find the nearest monorail or... Oh, yes, monorail is over here. I'm sorry, subway. But also, maybe it can count as a monorail. Let's see. So we went up a bit. Ouch! That was very rude. I remember back in the days of Disney Channel and Toon Disney. That was before Disney XD, folks. Toon Disney. And Playhouse Disney. Oh, dog on it. That's I thought that was the subway, but it was just Artie Subway is the purple thing on screen. That is my ex-wife. Hey Galadivore! Good day to you! I hope you're doing well. We're just playing Hollow Knight. For the first time, so no spoilers if you have played this yourself. I'm just trying to go back to Dirtmouth and buy me a key and maybe a piece of a mask. I think the mask fragment is actually only like 100 Geo, too, so I think I can even afford it. <laughs> we gotta keep the arty lore going. That monster in there is my ex-wife. It's a touchy subject. I don't like to talk about it. Okay, am I going the wrong way? 
I don't think so. This is where I wish I kind of did the 2D Metroid thing where it showed... It showed the map of where you are, like, on screen even while you're here. That would be nice. And speaking of Metroid, maybe I'll play Zero Mission on stream one of these days. I really like Zero Mission. And Prime 1. Metroid Prime Metroid Zero Mission are, like, my two favorite Metroid games. By far. Wait, was there a Geo deposit over here? No, I already grabbed it. Big money means big risk, you are right. Absolutely. I have the compass, I just don't have it equipped because it consumes one of your precious slots. And I have my slots used for getting more money and getting more, um, will. So I can heal more. And I'm too cheap to buy the extra pins. Or the extra pin slots. Get out of here. Yeah, Zero Mission is great. I know people also rave about Fusion. I have tried Fusion, could not get into it. Have I ever played AM2R? Oh, is that Metroid 2 Samus Returns? If that's a Metroid... The, the Metroid games that I have beaten, I have beaten Prime 1, Prime 2, and Zero Mission. And I believe that is it. I've played a tiny little bit of Prime Free and a tiny bit of Fusion. And, oh, and Metroid Prime Hunters uh, multiplayer. But not the actual single player. Oh, the unofficial Metroid 2. No, I have not. It's much better than the official one. That... That tends to be oftentimes how things kind of go, because, believe it or not, like, the only people who know more about a game than the people who made it are the people who really, really, really enjoy it and played it over and over again. Like, I'm quite certain that the speedrunning community knows a lot more about Ocarina of Time than the people who made Ocarina of Time do. Okay, did I go too low again? Let's see, um, I think I went too low again. Never played, yeah, I never played single-player Hunters. But the multiplayer was fun, playing with my siblings. Yeah, so... I can't speak for... There are free Metroid Prime games right now. I can't speak for free, because I really haven't played that enough. I really, really, really like Prime 1. It's... it's it's one of my... It is it is my favorite Metroid game. And easily one of my favorite GameCube games as well. Very, very well done. I would highly recommend. Prime 2, if you really like Prime 1, you're going to like it. But it's not as good. My personal opinion. Oh yeah, Ocarina of Time has a bunch of crazy stuff you can do. It's fantastic. Alright. If we fits, we sits. Patapajio! Give me the simple key. I want it. And while we're here, let's buy the mask shard as well. And there we go! Oh, that increases our max HP. That makes sense. We get the simple key. I can't wait to see where this goes! <laughs> It might lead to the final boss. That would be funny. Oh, hey! Duh, another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your way. You don't even know the half of it. If you won't spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. I'm sorry, but what do you do? I don't care. Oh, yeah, we also need to go and get our next... Uh, upgrade from Lady. Actually, no, we're gonna do that before we open the door. Because we can take the subway right to that one lady who will give us our next power. Metroid Prime, if you really don't like first-person shooters, then, like, I get it. 
But I'm somebody who, like, I normally don't like first-person shooters, but I really liked Prime. Partly because it was more, kind of more puzzle-solving than just shoot everything in, uh, shoot everything in sight. I'll get to the door, don't worry. But I've got enough, um, whatever you call it. There's too many stuff that has similar names. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the Dream Nail. Ah, your Dream Nail holds over 200 essence. Essence, that's it. You're proving your talent in its collection. Have you seen that giant door just outside? My tribe closed it long ago and forbade its opening. But, ah, but as far as I can tell, I'm the only member of my tribe still breathing. That means I needn't feel bad about breaking a taboo. As proof of my belief in you, I'll open the door. Cool. There, the door's open and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there, you may hear the utterings of bugs long gone. P Metroid Prime Randomizer would be interesting, for sure. Especially if you knew how to sequence break a lot of the stuff. I do not. Alright, ooh, the Spirit's Glade. Um... Oh, I can swim in that. It's not boiling water, it's just water. Hey, dude. The bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain. But raise your nail and you'll contend with me. Oh, is that so? He dodged! Oh, okay. That was maybe a big mistake. Buy my cookies! I wanted to buy his cookies! You know, I kind of deserve that. <laughs> I can't even be mad at that dude. He's just like, hey, dude, how about you treat people with respect? And I'm like, I'll kill you. He's like, all right. <laughs> Uno reverse card. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was nice. I wonder if he'll still hate me now that I've come back. Can I at least raise my nail to uh, get my soul stuff back? Oh, Sydney's playing Animal Crossing again. Buy my cookies. They're ever so tasty. I would love to, but somehow I lost all my money. Beware your own li mind, little one. Twisted minds breed dark deeds, and mine was more twisted than most. I thought it would be my end, but instead I found this glade, and with it a sort of peace. Aw. That's actually very deep. So where's my shadow? I don't have a map. Cool. I used to help others. They were brought to me sick and dying. What difference did it make? Any victory against death will always be temporary. Until Jesus returns. Don't fear, little creature. Through her, though a violent rage once possessed me, the peaceful air in this place seems to keep it at bay. I trust you. I should have given him a more like, ha 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 voice. Cool. I got my hundred bucks back. All the spirits in here are Kickstarter bag. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. Are you a warrior, little one? A true warrior is one who can stand strong in the midst of a storm. No, I, I don't have a map, period. I was once obsessed with power, though my time within this glade has shed me of such desire. What folly it was to ever crave such a vicious thing. This game's becoming deep. I mean, it was kind of deep before, but now it's really getting... I love it. Alright, now there was a secret ledge over here. Aha! You can't hide it from me! What's this? The king's idol! Well, that seems great. Oh, dude! Kirby Air Ride! Yes! Yes! One of the most underappreciated racing games ever. I did a full Let's Play of it on my channel with my sister. It was... It's so fun. I I still wait for the day for Kirby Air Ride 2, where they just make it all about city trial. <laughs> We're always left with reminders of the errors we've made. Let your mistakes not burden you, but serve as guideposts on where not to travel. GameCube had a lot of great games. 
Do you like my nails, little wanderer? I carry only three, far less than legends may suggest. Still, each is sharper than the last, and I'd require only one to cut you down. Are you admiring my fabulous markings? I'm of a distinguished species, you see, though I've not seen another like me for the longest time. This is really cool. It's like the Hall of Fame for Kickstarter backers. Like, this is a great way of putting- of making your Kickstarter backers feel accomplished. <laughs> have I ever played Spyro, a hero's tale? I have not. I am in the middle of playing Spyro 1, and I've played a bit of the Spyro Season of Ice on the Game Boy Advance. Really like Spyro 1. I should- I should go around finishing that someday. Ah, uh, Melee and Spider-Man and Sunshine. Those are all fun games. I know I, I know I rag on Sunshine a lot, but it is still fun. Are you enjoying your time in Arglade? I'd offer advice, though, to, to have made it this here. You are obviously quite adept at navigating our world and its perils. Thanks, dude. Don't fear my rotting form. Though my body sheds and changes, my core remains the same. Okay, right, I'm not using my spirit sword on these guys. All of life's problems can be solved with crushing force. Such a simple mantra, and one I've always lived by. If you weren't so scrawny, I'd suggest you follow my example. Don't judge me by appearance, though my stature is small. I bear a dark soul and a tendency to go berserk in battle. Hark, fellow adventurer! Are you heading out into the world? I join you, but it's been so long I fear I'd lose my head. Hark, the herald angels sing! Watch out! I don't think that's how the hymn goes. I have an acidic touch and I wouldn't want you getting burned. It's a protection system of my kind, though something of a nuisance when it comes to meeting others. <laughs> no handshakes, please. See you soon, she said, though that was long ago. I wonder where she went. Oh, that's so sad. With, like, two sentences, you made me feel real bad for something. Go bother someone else. You're not the one I'm waiting for. Hmm. <laughs> Stay strong, my Chad. <sighs> ah, a wanderer. I've been many places and done a great many things, but I suspect you will outdo me by far. I've long ceased traveling the caverns of Hollow Nest, and I suspect they're now far more dangerous than in my journeys. Though, with your capable air, I'm sure you'll do fine. Thanks, buddy. Good luck. It's a vast world out there. <laughs> Spyro Skylanders. You know, my only experience of that game is one time I went to a movie, and I saw a movie in a theater, and there was, like, literally a solid eight-minute Skylanders trailer. I'm like, why is this commercial so long? I came from far away to reach this place. Though my shell may seem foreign, beneath it I am a bug, the same as you. Everybody's a bug. Oh, we reached the end of the NPCs. That was, that was cool. I, want, I wonder if this spirit guy is a bonus boss. I'm not going to fight him. He kicked my butt. Alright, that was fun. Oh, Fell a little too far. The subway station is this way. The simple door awaits us. Jeeba Grabala. <laughs> yeah, of, of all the living creatures you could be, a bug has got to be pretty low on the list of cool factor. Hey, platformers are great. All right. Are we, all, are we all ready to see what lies behind the simple door? A stone door with a simple lock. Use the simple key. You bet, kid. Well, this is not ominous or anything. Are you an NPC or an enemy? You're an NPC. Welcome, small intruder. I'd been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time? Ah, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up, so it's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi, and if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. Hey, Gigi. <laughs> you see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have any regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. I have a regret. I lost, uh, like, $800 earlier in this stream series. Oh, that's gone forever. 
Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets? How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. I bet that's a way of getting your stuff back without needing to venture back to where you lost it. I must admit, I was I was expecting something a little different. I was kind of expecting a dungeon, but I guess that's cool, too. Alright. Now we're going to collect more money and try to go to weird, um... I don't even remember his name. The kind of creepy shopkeeper who can sell me more pin slots. I would love that. Yeah, don't don't spoil it for anybody. Uh, that's okay, he wasn't. He just said that he remembered where it was. Salubra, that's the name, yeah. Far down. You don't get to gore me with your horn. <laughs> Missed me. Do I remember where the shopkeeper is? Um, it's on my map. Yeah, it's down near the resting grounds. I believe. Wait, is that right? Yeah, it should be down near the nesting grounds. See that red thing in the lower right next to the bench? Okay, now that's that leads towards the mine. I'm still not fat enough to break in. I'm bad with names, too. It's hard enough for me to keep track of names of people in real life, let alone in a, a game. All right. Boop, 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 boop. That leads towards the Ancestral Peak or wherever it is. We going down, down, down. I don't think I have enough Geo to buy anything from this shopkeeper, but you never know. I mean, to be fair, I to be fair, Simpsons are us. I also am uh, forgetting a lot of the NPC names. Oh yeah, it's over here, I believe. Oh no, that's that's where a dead person is. Yeah, I'm 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 on the right path. Yeah, here we go. Now I need to remember how much the extra slots are. Yeah. Yeah. Sturdy body. Oh, we can buy the first one. Yes, please. The second one is 500. These are... Oh, I can't even buy that because I need more charms. Okay. All right, all right, I get you. Oh, hey, how convenient. There's a bench right here. Now I can equip another one. And I got more notches. Well, a new notch. I probably just... Yeah, I already have that equipped. Everything else, I think, costs two. No, not the Forns of Agony. But that doesn't sound very good. So I guess I'll equip the compass for now. Now I can see where I am on the map! Because I am the worst when it comes to directions. Literally. Like, in real life, if I did not have a... I have debated ditching my smartphone and going back to grandma phone. But honestly, one of the things that's keeping me with the smartphone is just the built-in GPS is really nice. I use it all the time. Because I'm, I'm so bad with directions. Who's my favorite and least favorite actor? Oh, I couldn't... I, I can't say that. I don't like t saying any real-life person is my least favorite. My, oh, oh, wait, no, I know. My favorite actor is also my least favorite actor, Nicolas Cage. He's both. Oof. That's the meme answer. Let's see. Favorite actor. I like Chris Pratt. He's funny. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just gonna stick with Nicolas Cage as my favorite and least favorite. <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm a sexy cat. <laughs> Community reference for those of you who don't know. There's a TV show, Community, where it takes place in a community college, and like, it's a very weird community college that offers strange courses. There's one episode where they're offering a course called Nicolas Cage, Good or Bad, and like one of the characters is like desperately trying to figure out if he's good or bad as an actor. It's hilarious. <laughs> 
That's either a season... I think it's a season 5 episode. Yeah, that, that's a great show. Really quirky, really funny. Not the bees! Not the bees! I mean, to be fair, bees are, uh... A beat of a bother. Okay, where am I even... Where am I even trying to go? Oh, that's right. Back to Crystal Peak. I bet I missed some stuff in Crystal Peak. And because I've got my new thing old handy-dandy compass, I can move around a little bit more. Easily. <laughs> Pull out my map. Conveniently, the two stalactites miss me. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Ha ha! I've got you now! Not the bees is from Wicker Man, so that's what the movie's called, though! I will not fall down this elevator shaft. Uh oh, my laptop is making those sounds of. Ah, Artie, I'm overheating! Why are you doing this to me? Okay, uh, there's nothing down here. It's a lot of vertical going up. Oh, yeah, we went to the resting grounds, but... We didn't explore what's past there. <laughs> Bench. I know... Now, whenever I sit on a bench in real life, I'm never going to be able to feel, feel the same way about it again. Oh, no, not these cheap butts. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. That's what that's what you get. Okay, um, I'm noticing that the geomagnet has some uh, tracking problems. <laughs> oh my gosh, I redirected those back. I did wasn't even trying to do that. Do I like B movie? <laughs> so, um I have seen B movie once in my life. And like right when it came out. And at the time, keep in mind, I was like, I think 10 years old or something like that. I'm like, that was a fine movie. Looking back, I'm like, wow, that movie is so weird. I do enjoy B-Movie, as a matter of fact. It's it's very fun, very weird, but has some truly great parts in it. <laughs> he is here. I sense it. <laughs> My favorite part of that movie is, like, the, the jerk... The best part of that movie is, like, the jerk ex-boyfriend who we're supposed to root against is, like, literally the only normal character in that entire movie. <laughs> like, he's literally, like, he's, like, the closest thing to an antagonist the movie has, but he, but you can't even hate him. You're like, this guy is literally the only one with a functioning brain. It's like, yeah, he's got a temper. A lot of guys have a temper. He needs to work on it. But he he also has every right to be mad when his girlfriend dumps him for a B. <laughs> the memes are great, yes. Oh, that's right. I couldn't dash across all that. Oh, wow! There's a little Hollow Knight, hey, we're gonna kill you sign on the other side. Okay, maybe I won't go that way. Alright, back to the drawing board. Yeah, Patrick Warburton was the jerky boyfriend. Can't even remember his name. Why is Yogurt Knight so difficult? And the best part of that movie is the dream sequence. If, uh... If nobody, if people out here have not seen the B movie, I won't even spoil the dream. Let's just say there, there's a moment where there's a dream sequence that you don't realize it's a dream sequence, and it's great. Trust me, that's not spoiling like what makes it good. All right, so he, now I'm gonna try going vertically up through those narrow hallways that lead to somewhere that's not on my map. That? Oh, wait, I don't think I can. I think there's a gate above it where it's like, no, you can't go through here until you go up. Yeah, so there's there's a lever back there. And I think there's a lever up here as well.
Yep, yeah, that's right. That's why I couldn't go higher up. Well, I'm still gonna try to find a way to go up, regardless. I'll just do it my way! <laughs> yeah. I mean, Patrick Warburton as Kronk is so good. Kronk is one of the best Disney characters. Oh, that's right, I can't go up. Alright, alright. I see you. We're gonna go up even higher. You've got to go up higher. Uh, go up higher. I'd like to know who told you you could stop at free. Oh, hey! Free fame! Shopkeeper's key? Aw, oh, dang! Is that like the storeroom key from Paper Mario? Oh, well, hey there. Okay, that's right. I forgot about laser bros. I told you about the stairs, bro. Who sings the Count at Higher? That's a Sesame Street song. <laughs> Just look up Sesame Street Count at Higher, and it's like an Elton John esque Muppet. Basically, <laughs> trying to turn counting to ten into an epic song, and he actually kind of succeeds. Hey, dude. Oh, I thought your head... I thought you just had your head lifted up high, but that's, like, another person's head as your hat. Ah, uh, quite a view, no. I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it will be quite intimidating, if not for your small stature. You better be afraid. Kaboosh! These winds cry lonely. Better to comfort the rock of ones above head. Uh, what? That was weird. You can soul strike NPCs and they say weird things. <laughs> Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Needlessly, oh my gosh. My psychology professor showed us unnecessary censorship with the Count in my psychology class. To teach us about, I don't even remember. So I guess he didn't do a good job teaching it. <laughs> Bring back Scening Miner, who is actually fun. Oh, come on! All these are too high up for me to jump. These guys remind me of the Pickaxe Men from uh, Gutsman stage in Mega Man 1. I'm getting better at fighting them, though, guys! Oh, well, I had to open my mouth. Okay. Ooh, a geo deposit. Do 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm just going to work, same as always. The Wanderer's Journal. Oh yeah, we can look at that. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. Ow! Wait, what? How the heck did you hit me, cheater? <laughs> I was trying to find the Wanderer's Journal. Map and quill... Boop, boop, boop. Where's the flippin' Mount Wanderer's Journal? Is it on the journal screen? Crawlid. Should be under my inventory somewhere, right? Am I just blind, or am I not seeing it? I was on it lower row in the inventory? City Crest, Mount Disney, Map and Quill, Kings of the Hon Oh, here it is. Wanderers, here it is. Okay. Relic from Hollow Nest Pass, the item holds a little value. Oh, that's right, we can't read it. There we go, we got a shortcut. Ha cha cha. <laughs> this is uh gonna lead me somewhere. 
Open up the gate. You sent me a sound alert request? Did I notice it? Oh, <laughs> that's actually an alert that I use occasionally in my, like, video edits whenever something crazy happens. Yeah, that's a good alert for sure. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I did not see that. Must have gotten buried by the chat, or I've not been looking at chat as closely as I should have. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh, I was about to. I was literally about to say something so smug, like, haha, you're gonna have to do better than that to get Artie, and then uh, they did better than that and got Artie. Alright, there was nothing over there. Oh, fun. Ouch. This is definitely going to lead to something. Okay, there's got to be more to it than just a uh, will refill. Bug's Life is good. Used to be one of my favorite movies. I, I'd still rank it pretty decently among the Pixars. It's a very entertaining movie. Also, the, I don't care what anyone says, the Bugs Life action game was good, and I will fight people on that. <laughs> Even though it's actually terrible. But I enjoy it. Let's see. Wow. I am Spider-Man far from home. Okay, this is, um... <clears throat> I'm a far, I'm a long way from a bench, and this screams, you're gonna fight a big boss, and you're gonna die. Or I get the crystal, I consume the crystal heart. Hold ZL while on the wall, we're clinging to a wall to concentrate the force. Release the button to blast forwards and fly through the air? Okay, that seems weird. Can I go up? Can I go up? Oh, I see. Mmm, cool. Whee! Oh, this is so fun. Oh, that's cool. Marty has a life. She's... <laughs> She's got college things to do, so yeah, I don't think she'll be joining us tonight. Again, nobody needs to feel pressured to ever join my streams. They're here for you if you want them. Okay, now let's try this again. Oh, I see. Let's try this. Okay, no, we gotta do it better this time. <laughs> it's convenient that we stick to the wall when we do that. There you go, little grub. Whee! Oh, that's a cool move. I thought we had already gotten all the moves in the game, but I was wrong. And I'm glad I was. If only we could go up with it, though. I'm still looking for something that lets me dash upwards. I wonder if it works on enemies. I'm gonna do something stupid. Yep! I'm like, I wonder if it works as an attack. It didn't say that, Artie, so... Maybe don't do that. Pay no attention to Mobius, he's just joking around. There's no need for anybody to look into that. Mobius, if you just pay me the ransom, you wouldn't have to watch this. I've been here before, haven't I? Seems very familiar. Okay. Concentrated power at will. I'm pretty sure I've been here. Yeah, we've been here. Yeah, because I want the super jump to be able to go up here. Wee! Super Grover! Wee! Bull! Super Grover. Okay. This has got to lead somewhere good. That's... I thought I was going to go farther than that. 
All right. But we can't do it in midair, so we gotta be touching either the ground or the wall. That's a really cool move. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's a way down. Because this is... this lead... Oh! Okay. Shortcut. This is really cool. Oh, we're back in Dirt Mouth! Oh, that's so cool! I love all the shortcuts we're getting. Okay, yeah, I... I see why people rate this game so highly. This is fantastic. Oh, hey, I got money! Oh, cha 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 you found my storeroom key! How did you find it in those old mines, perhaps? Very curious. I have no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Also, you are taking Grover's power! Very honest of you to return it to me, yes. Very kind. And now that I can open my own storeroom up, I could sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust in here. These items may be a little more time-worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Oh, take a look. Barbagio. Another mask shard. Another vessel fragment. An elegant key. The elegant key is cheaper than the simple key. What the heck? Explorer found this fancy key floating in the waterways of the city far below us. I've not, I've not cleaned it. Oh, that's why. Heavy blow. Notch cost. You enjoy smacking. Yes, I do. With this charm equipped, you'll be able to send them flying fervor with each. That's nice. Sprintmaster, you like it? Wait, does... <gasps> oh, I need that. I need that. I gotta have it. No, oh, I gotta have it! Okay. <laughs> Super Grover knows what to buy next! We are going to buy the running pin! <laughs> Take me back to the mines! <laughs> Who wants the key? I want to be able to run. Oh, I. It's only ZL that lets you do the dash. Whoop, whoop, and boop, doop, bonk. All right, I gotta get the money. I gotta be able to run. There you go, little worm. Ah! You're not a little worm. Well, you are, but it's just a, a different kind of little worm. Ah! He's relentless. Ah! What the heck? <laughs> I was trying to run away and heal, and he was just like, um, no. Wow, like, so you just cannot escape him. He pursues you relentlessly. Wow. That was nuts. It's like the guys who take your money for burning their... Uh, I almost did the same dumb mistake again. Alright, I gotta get my stuff back. If I want to be able to run. Like Forrest Gump. Oh man, my, my shadow now has more HP ever since I got the mask. It used to only take two hits to kill. Alright, I'm I am seriously gonna die to these stupid... Because these guys can just make it so you can't maneuver around anywhere. All right. Is there even a proper strategy to facing this guy? Well, he can't seem to f get me up here. Oh, he was one hit away. You give me nothing? 
Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, I knew there had to be something around here. Ah, are you gonna be a real worm? Yes, you are. Good. There is, um, I mean, you can't crouch stab, but yeah, you can jump and hit downwards. But it's harder than you might think. Alright. Dane, can I get this move in real life? That was very nearly bad. Zoom! Whee! Oh my gosh, this is the most fun move in the game. Look at me zoom! Alright. Where can we go next? Oh, there's a bench. We gotta use the bench. Come on and zoom! Do I speak uppy dup? Oh, no. I do not. Oh, hey! King Colin is playing Hollow Knight as well! He has good tastes. The phrase "ubba dubby" resonates with me, and I hate it. All right, we still gotta find a way to get up higher. Oh wait, we did get up higher. We counted all the way to ten. Oh well then. We gotta keep going. Do I know who's playing Animal Crossing? I know all my friends. I'm not gonna tell you who they are. Well, actually, I think King Kong is Galatavor, who's in chat. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Here's the thing. So some of the people who you'll see pop up are people who I know IRL. And then others are people who you'll see in Twitch chat. So now you get to see who some of my friends' names are. That's true, Shaggy might be playing something tonight. Alright, yeah, let's keep going this way. Wait, this is where I got the new move, wasn't it? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Hey! Give me a bigger jump, but oh! Ah, okay, no, 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 we can do this. It's gonna be very, very precise. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You can't throw pickaxes that far. What a cheater. I've never seen him throw a pickaxe that far in my entire life. We can do a- if we, I think if we do a very, very precise pogo hop on top of his head, we can get enough height to go up there. Artie, if you just wait till later in the game, you get a move that lets you jump higher. No, we could do it, but this way. It's not about progress. It's about sending a message. <laughs> He is a very dangerous hammer, brother. Alright. Yeah, like, it, it, it's an incredibly precise, uh, I believe. Because we gotta do, like, a pogo jump off of his head. Actually, can we pogo off of that? No, we can't. Mm. It's my way! Okay, well, he's dead now, so I don't think we can do it anymore. That's a shame. 
Oh wait, this is the wrong side of the tracks. I've already been up that way. Is that really... Darn it, I really can't get up there. Oh, I know where we can go, though! What a wuss. Stop taking fall damage. I know where we can go. If we go back to the resting grounds, you know that big gap I couldn't cross? Now I can. With the Super Grover Dash! Oh, yes! <laughs> Uh, yeah, you probably can hit the pickaxes back. But I'm too lazy for that. Okay. I hate how you can just create crystals that take up, like, half of the ground. I am fairly familiar with Super Grover, yes. He's not Grover. He has a cape and a hat. Just like how Aladdin is not Prince Ali. And how there is no war in Boss Insei. Alright. Wow, this place doesn't look ominous or anything. <laughs> I think it's time to say goodbye to Prince Abubu. Oh, hey! Is this where we can destroy those things? Because I, I need... Do I get the ability to get fat? Because that's what I really need. Surely there's got to be something we can do in here, right? I just need I just need the all you can eat buffet move. I need to get more swole. Meh. Oh, it's okay. I won't get fat. I've got an incredible metabolism. I'm going to assume I can't do anything there yet until I gain the ability to be big. Alright. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that reminds me of B Bill Burr's epic rant against McDonald's. <laughs> Not even against McDonald's, against people who go to McDonald's constantly and are super unhealthy. It, it was fantastic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure once I get married and have kids, that's when my metabolism's like, yep, time to change. But in the meantime, I mean, I'm not being stupid with what I eat. I am trying to eat healthy. Or, I'm not tr I'm trying to be not actively eating super unhealthily, I guess I should say. I eat lots of fruits and veggies. Also, I already forgot how much the, uh, that pin I really want it is. Man, this guy runs here fast. Like, I ring the bell and then two seconds later he's here. Oh, I, you don't have to worry. I'm not eating that Taco Bell. I think I'd rather go hungry than eat a Taco Bell. Oh, Artie, you, you don't like Taco Bell? You don't like Mexican food? No, I, I adore Mexican food. That's why I don't like Taco Bell. Taco Bell is not Mexican food. How much was the run, you can run move? Okay, I only need like 50 more. Cool! I know what we're doing. Oh, wait! And also, we gotta hit more people with the Spirit Sword. Mmm. To descend into that ruin, why? Things are so much simpler up here. <gasps> this 
dreary place it reminds me of home. How ghastly. They do have slots for sale, but I want to run! I guess I can technically run now. But only on straightaways. Oh yeah! Grubfather! I'll be Grubfather! <laughs> you take that back. I am nothing like Ralph Macchio. It's like how the, the Sims and Sims Free sound like they're saying Anthony Condoroy. <laughs> Grubfather, I almost got killed by someone pretending to be one of these little grubbies. Ooh! I got Grub Song! Wow! <laughs> Wow! Thank you, sir! <laughs> Dane! Grubfather knows what's up. He is paying the cash money! Now I am flushed with cash! Money, dear boy. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. That is one Simpsons line I do know. Yes, I would love to buy Sprint Master. And I will save up for the extra pin slot now. I always wonder it on your Twitch. There's a section called clips that shows roughly 10 to 30 second clips. They they are not Twitch highlights. Twitch highlights only I can make. Clips anybody can who watches me can make. All right. I know I just equipped the compass, but uh, we want a sprint master. And Grub Psalm contains the gratitude to feed grubs, gain soul when taking damage. Okay, that's pretty good. That's very good actually. Okay, hang on. How do we sprint? Increases the running speed. Okay, I don't notice much of a difference, to be honest. Is it just because we're in town? Okay. We're a little faster. Not much, though. Honestly, it's not that great. I don't notice much of a speed increase. Be so mad! Oh wait, there's that big thorny place in a uh, green path that I can dash through now. Oh, okay. Well, with the dash, did I? Mm, okay. Yeah, I need I need 500 geo to buy the next charm to buy the next charm slot. And you know what? I think it's time to take another visit to the bank. But first, I need to get just enough geo so I can deposit free 50. There we go, good boy. You know, I'll be honest, I was I was hoping for more of that. Could I beat Dash part not with that. Dash can literally run so fast that he turns invisible. <laughs> Naruto Hollow Knight. Alright, take me to Queen Station. I gotta deposit some money in the bank! Who's my favorite character in The Incredibles? Ooh, good question. Like, does it have to be a main character? Or can it be a side character as well? Because that might change the difference. That might, that might make the difference and change my answer. My favorite of, like, the main family is probably Violet. Yeah, especially after Incredibles 2, I'm going to say Violet. Violet was great in Incredibles 2. The villain is also great. As for if we're including side characters, I mean... Mm. Gotta admit, Tony, Tony's pretty great, even if he doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, where's... Where is Banker Lady? What do you mean I don't have a map for the area? I definitely do. People do like Edna Mode. Uh, 
I thought this... Is this where the... Oh, this is where Banker Lady is. Whoops. That's Gio. Gio. Hello, Gio. There we go. Gio, Kalala. Yeah, Edna's pretty great. I know, I know what Marty would say. Marty's favorite character from Incredibles is, without a doubt, Mirage. Not sure what it is about Mirage, but she really, really likes her. This little creature looks tasty. I wonder, should I eat it? The others around here were awfully bland. Ah! <laughs> Jack Jack is interesting. Oh, oh. Uh, not Syndrome. Um, Frozone's wife is also great. Honey. Even though you never see her. <laughs> but she has, like, the best scene in the movie. Where is my super suit? I put it away. Also, Frozone is great, too. Actually, basically every character in that movie is great. Uh-oh. You know, even though I just made a huge stink about, like, oh my gosh, I need the Dash Master pin, at this point, I think I'm gonna go with the compass. Because I'm not noticing that much of a difference in the way I move. <laughs> I'm the greatest good you'll ever get! And she, and she was, she said that to Samuel L. Jackson. I also like Bernie, the school teacher. <laughs> Who's voiced by the same guy who voices Linguini in Ratatouille. Which makes his line of, THIS LITTLE RAT IS GUILTY, even better. Yeah, I, I I heard about that. That was one of Marty's biggest complaints of Incredibles 2. She's like, Mirage was not in it. Are you kidding me? She was like the best character. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the move. I, the move. Uh, the room. I can talk. This is the moon. Ouch! Oh my gosh, this guy here is to refill our soul. Oh, wait, we don't fulfill our soul. Need more souls. Ow, my skull. All right, let's try this again. But this time, with feeling. Okay, thanks for dropping my inputs. Really appreciate it. And see, and see that's, that is why I deposited my money in the bank. Ratatouille is a great movie. Yeah. Also, it, apparently an extremely polarizing movie, too. Like, literally, there are two types of people. Those who are like, Ratatouille, one of the best Pixar movies, one of my favorite movies ever. And then the people who are like, Ratatouille is awful, I can't watch it. So, I... If you don't like the idea, if you can't get past the whole idea of rats being in a kitchen, then you're not going to like the movie. Because that's literally the whole point of the movie. But if you can, mmm, so good. Oh, you can dream nail. Mmm, dream nail, floaty guy. Yes, there there are also people who have never seen Red. That's true. Impossible. Everyone in the whole world has seen Ratatouille. <laughs> All right. Ouch! Why is this so freaking difficult? <laughs> I got good timing. Alright, come on. Kill. Hurt. Ah, no! I pushed the wrong dash button. Alright, forget it. I have a lot of HP for now.
Okay, I was kind of hoping that would dash a little faster than that. There we go. Oh, hmm. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Ouch! Alright. Ow! Oh, you are! That's evil! Oh, no. This is tough. <laughs> I was getting some slight de Donkey Kong Country vibes from that. In a good way, though. I love Donkey Kong. And, you know, what's great is that there's a bench super close by. What's not great is all of these stinky men who are on the way here. Stinky, stinky, stinky! Uh, not you. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country is pretty... So there are barrel cannons in Donkey Kong Country where you have to line up and wait for some bees to move out of the way for you to launch. And it, that's kind of what Nintendo Addict was getting at. Oh, great! My shadow isn't here. Probably on the other side of the room, as I would imagine. Ouch. Ow! That's no good. Alright, forget it. That time I apparently dealt damage to him. Interesting. Oh, good. Here's my shadow. Oh, okay, that part's not too bad. Whee! Alright. So now is there something super secret up here? And much like Lemmings and Licks teaches you, top root is best root. Maybe this will create a shortcut for next time. Wow, this is just a long... Yep. Maybe that's just a safe way back. Alright. Oh, I bet you wish you had the running for now. <laughs> I always forget that if you don't have the compass equipped, you don't really fill in new areas of the map, which is very annoying. Shaggy's streaming something now? Cool, well, we can raid him, potentially, when we're done. Aha! Oh boy, a rancid egg. I have no idea what those are used for, so... But now I have three of them! <laughs> So there's an achievement for getting a lot of them. I'm gonna get it. Ah, bench! I love it. Let's go into this big, scary building. Oh my... Ooh la la, monsieur! That is a great art piece! <laughs> a visitor? Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps, like me, you have a taste for discovering new things? I am Shio, and in a previous life I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me to be was becoming stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagined it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation, painting, sculpting. These things bring a different kind of pleasure. Hmm, you don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Shio the Nail Master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Really? Yes, please. Ooh. Ooh! 
That's so pretty. Matt stirred the Great Slash. Hold Y to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button without holding up or down to perform the Great Slash. Interesting. So, my work, does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush, these things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can peer deeper inside. For now, though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forwards, only you can see it. Good luck. That was awesome. I love that guy. Okay, that's a long time to charge. But you can move while doing it. Why did it say you couldn't move up or down during it? I guess you can only do it horizontally, but still. That's awesome. Thank you, dude. Never fails. Stub your toe on the thorn. Well, that might help. I hope it does more damage than the regular Nail Swain. If only I could actually shoot the charge shot, <laughs> but I'll take a charge swing as well. It's kind of like Shovel Knight in that regard. Let's go down! There's another way down there that reaches a dead end. Green Path is all- I love Green Path. It gives some nice greenery. <laughs> that was not even funny. I explored that earlier today? Wait. I don't know how I did this to bring up the entire world map, but okay. I really wish I knew how I did this. Because now I just go back. Oh, you push it twice. Interesting. Elevator shaft that goes down, but there's a door that's stuck in the way. Interesting. Oh, there's a mask that's like, ha ha. Okay, that's cool. But I was kind of looking for... Uh... Okay, no, I think... So we only have 300... Ouch! My chest. We only have 350 in the bank. So even if we withdraw it all, we still can't afford the next... Um... Pin upgrade! No! My Geo! No! Never Lemming died. I might play. I'm. I. Well, not Mary. Well, I will almost certainly play Shovel Knight in the future on stream. It's a very fun game. If, if I don't make a Let's Play out of it. But I think at this. I think at this point, most fanes I would rather stream than Let's Play. Because having the audience and the chat interaction is very fun. However, if I want to play a game that involves copious amounts of grinding, then it makes more sense to do that as a Let's Play. Because I don't want to grind on stream. That Nobody wants to see that. And if you do want to see that, I would encourage you to change your likes. That's definitely a possibility. I do love me some Mario Galaxy. Let's see... We still got a couple minutes left. Did I really go down that pathway this stream? I don't think I did. I'm probably just incredibly stupid, but... Everybody in chat vote, am I incredibly stupid? This is where I found at the map. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yep, I'm just incredibly stupid. Thank you, Proxima. Thank you for pointing out what was back there. Not for pointing out that I'm stupid. I'm the one who pointed out that I'm stupid. Alright, then where should we go? We could go down to Fog... I know, it's, it's self-deprecation, you know? I know I'm not actually stupid, but I have to say that I'm stupid so that my ego doesn't get out of control. 
I don't want to become insufferable. Although maybe a better strategy is to just be honest. <laughs> Just to be honest, saying that, oh, I'm just stupid when I actually don't think that, that's not being humble. That's just fishing for compliments. That's not good. I am of average intelligence. That I can get behind. Oh, absolutely. There's also a difference between being smart and being educated. Because some of the stupidest people I met in my entire life were highly educated. Believe me, I, I was in college. You meet all sorts of people in college where you're just like... Really? <laughs> Not naming names, though. <laughs> I may be a little lost. Even though I have a map with my face on it. so counterintuitive. You have to go left to go right. You have hail over there, Nintendo Addict? That's it. Here I am in Michigan, and we were having, like, almost 70 degree weather today, which is kind of crazy. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Fahrenheit, that would be... Let's just say a very... Bu basically, most people's ideal weather is, like, mid-70s. Yep, I, I gotta leave my ex alone. It's not my turn for the kids this week. Aha! I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I, f I feels to me like... No, I... I should go back to... Next time on Hollow Knight, I should go back to the fungus area. Because I I only explored that area once, and I have the new Super Dash move, so... I probably could get more stuff there. Ooh! We're actually so close. If we get just a little bit more Geo, we can buy the extra pin upgrade. Oh, that is, that is not good, Nintendo Addict. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, Arizona. I've, I've heard about it. <laughs> very hot, very dry. My sister-in-law went to Arizona for grad school. Oh, I only have nine charms in total? Aww. Oh. Bawoni! <laughs> It's nice to know after all this time playing Hollow Knight that the easy enemies can still get me. Yeah, yeah, in, in Michigan it's quite cold. So in Michigan I always like to say we've got three months of summer, like two months of fall, like five or six months of winter, and then one week of spring. That's kind of how it goes. So, like, everything from November until, like, usually May is, like, really cold and, or just, not even necessarily cold and snowy, but, like, cold and wet. Then in May, we usually get, like, one week of beautiful spring weather, then it's like, well, now it's summer! Although I will say, autumn, like, the, the little time we actually do get a legitimate fall... In Michigan, it's beautiful. Weather's nice. It's not... It's, like, not too humid, not too dry. All the leaves turn a beautiful color. And we've got cider mills! And they're a lot of fun. Man, if, if I ever do move, which I plan on doing eventually to a new state, warmer state, I will miss Michigan autumns. I will miss them cider mills. 
There's one near my parents' house, which is really, really good. We go there a lot. All right. Well, that was another successful Hollow Knight stream. We got a new sword move. I'm sorry, a new nail move. And we got and we learned how to become Super Grover. So, like, what else can we want? The world is our oyster. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time on Hollow Knight, I think we're going to take a dip back into the uh, Fungus Woods area, or the Fungus Caverns. I can't even remember what it's called. The area of all the mushrooms. Let's see if there's stuff there that we missed. Ah... Did I say that my multi-world randomizer stream that I was going to Texas? I I would like to. I don't know, though. It, it's still up in the air. But that is one of the areas I'm considering. It would be pretty awesome. Yeah, that's it for Hollow Knight tonight. We'll be continuing these next week. And uh, Saturday, we will be continuing the Paper Mario 64 randomizer. That's going to be fun. I also do have Good Friday off of work. Now, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to stream anything, but I might do a one-off stream on Friday. I'll have to keep people posted about that. It all depends on what I actually want to do on Good Friday. It all depend. Thank you all for joining in. It was awesome chatting with you all. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and God bless. See you next time, everybody.